Left, Wisconsin trying to tie. Rafael Gaglione. Gaglione, no. And the big story in this game, guys, BYU's defense held Jonathan Taylor to just 117 rushing yards, no touchdowns, no explosive plays. Head coach Kalani Sataki, he's left. Look at the big man get up. I mean, look at that celebration. They are going wild after Gaglione, the fifth year senior, just missing the field goal. Wild emotions for both sides. Oh, cool. and one, yeah, well, what a heck of a day. Okay. Whatever that was. This loss snapped in one of the more impressive streaks in FBS. Wisconsin had won 41 straight home games versus non conference teams, 10 longer than any other active streak. That streak has been snapped, and Bama now leads the way with 31 straight. Paul Christ on the loss. We can win as a team, and, and everyone can, can own their part equally in a loss. And, and so we've all got to take a, a look at the things that we can control and, and how can we get better, and, and we've got to take those steps to get better. And that's the opportunity that we have. We wanted to see how what we're made of. Last year we weren't good enough. This year it worked out in our favor in their house. And uh, we just, some things went our way, but I'm glad that our guys played hard and played tough. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the score shows that they, they got what they deserve. Looking for something eventful to happen on Saturday. Wisconsin goes down was not something anybody could have predicted. What went wrong for the Badgers? You don't normally see a Wisconsin defense get pushed around, especially by a front five, but BYU did a nice job. And honestly, if you'd have went to anyone and said that Squally Canada, I know you guys love him. Squally Canada, Canada was going to have more rush yards and more rush touchdowns than Jonathan Taylor before this game, no one would have believed it. But look at the holes and give the offensive line of BYU a lot of credit for opening these holes. You don't normally see Wisconsin's defense give up the big plays. We saw the trick play go for a long touchdown wide open and watch Squally Canada. No one there to even touch him. This is the first time all season long that Wisconsin's allowed a running back to go for over 100 yards and BYU made it count and to give their defense credit getting back on the field getting the stops they needed. And we knew guys coming into the season that Alex Hornibrook at quarterback would be the X factor for Wisconsin and their chances to reach the playoffs, right? Every defense they play is going to load the box and try and stop Jonathan Taylor. So when those one-on-one -on -one opportunities present themselves, Alex Hornibrook has to be able to take advantage of those. Against BYU, only 180 passing yards through an interception. If he's average this year, Wisconsin's good enough to win the Big Ten West, and that's it. If he's better than average, they can go to the playoff. And they've got big games ahead, guys. They've got at Michigan, at Penn State, maybe Ohio State. You think they can still get there with this loss? Alex, absolutely. Yeah. Alex Hornibrook, though, has to throw the ball better. Jonathan Taylor, 117 rushing yards, but not enough from Hornibrook and others. Meantime.